guys, Josh here from VIP Airsoft. Today I'm going to be doing a, another tech video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on MOSFETs. We're not going to be installing any MOSFETs because they're all a little bit different. Um, and I don't want to confuse you guys, but we're just going to basically go over what is a MOSFET and what are the benefits of uh, different MOSFETs. Um, today in particular we're going to be talking about the gate MOSFETs. Um, that's the ones we carry in the store. Um, we're going to be going over three different price points. Um, these MOSFETs are going to be a little bit uh, different in each one. But uh, we're just going to kind of show you what they do, okay? So without any further ado, let's just get, in, get into this and geez. Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and jump in and get this going. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start with the low end of them all. Um, this is the um, Nano. So right here is what it kind of looks like. Let me pop it open real quick. <clears throat> and go ahead and ignore that price right there, okay? I think these ones are a little bit less than what it says right there. Um, so I'll get a double check on that for you, but uh, that one's mispriced. This was just one I got kicking in the back just to show you guys. So, all right. So as you can tell, right out of the box, that is a very, very small, small MOSFET. Um, these ones are pretty cool, and the fact that they're so small. So right here, if you kind of look on here, it kind of gives you, it's real basic. So you hook a wire to the trigger. That's what these wires are for. And then these two back here are going to hook to one's going to be the motor, one's going to be the battery. And thank God there is this little indicator that tells you different, otherwise you'd be kind of in trouble. So, this MOSFET in particular, what it's going to do is, is that you would install it into one of your wires. If I'm not mistaken, I believe you have to install it into the red wire. Um, and then what you're going to do is, is that it's going to actually uh, prevent these trigger contacts from burning up. So if you remember in the video where Nate burned up trigger contacts, because um, that's what happens, it's normal. Um, and when he was doing the rental, that's what burnt up was the trigger contacts was that there with that right there. So this will prevent that from happening. So it's kind of a cool little feature and um, they're not too expensive. I want to say they're no more than twenty five dollars. So twenty five for one of those. that's not too bad is, is a good good price point for one of these little ones. So let me go ahead and put it back in the box and then we'll move on to the next one. Uh, they also have a uh, one-year warranty with them, so it's pretty cool for Gate to do that. You just kind of contact them, let them know what happened, and they'll do that for you. So if you get one, keep the box, because it has a serial number on here for you. And unless you can figure out where it is on the actual MOSFET, just keep that. All right, put that one away. Next one we're going to go to is going to be the AAB or Nano AAB. These are $40 MOSFETs. These are pretty good ones as well. Um, what the Nano AAB, it's a smaller MOSFET. And the AEB stands for active braking. So what it's going to do is kind of look on back here with me. Uh, we it is, Obviously, it's a MOSFET. Wow, I didn't even know that. Um, it's active braking. So what that means is it should stop the motor. Um, and so the cutoff lever doesn't have to be there. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't. I don't. I still will put a cutoff lever there because that's just me. But it's kind of cool. It gives you that option. As a digital fuse is their third generation and digital interface. I have no idea what that means. Not a clue what that means. So let's open it up and I can tell you what you have kind of on install and some cool things about these MOSFETs. So this is what the MOSFET looks like. So it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger than the other one, as you can tell. So you're going to install is going to be a little bit different as well. Um, install on this one. What you're going to have to do is replace those two tr um, contact points. So we'll see where that red wire is. And then there's another point up here. You'll replace those with these two points right here. So those get soldered into there, and then what you'll have to do is either take your own wiring, such as this, and build your own harness, or you're going to have to get a pre-built harness. Um, most likely, you're just going to have to build your own. So it's not too difficult. It's pretty easy to do. Um, they also include a set of deans for you. All right, so what you're going to do is, is that this will would this will hook into these two points right here. There's two contact points it'll hook into. You'll solder them on, just like the other one. Solders on like that, So it's got this wire that comes out like that. That wire will come out to about, you can also cut it, which is nice. You can cut it and come out to about where you need it. You'll hook it into here, and then you'll take this portion, which will actually be the steams that will be hooked onto your wire, and it'll be hooked into right there. So, and then from there, you plug in the battery, and that's all you have to do. So, pretty basic on, on these. Uh, pretty cool because it, the nice thing about this little thing right here is, is that let's say you have the um, better MOSFET does a three-round burst. You can just buy the MOSFET. You don't even have to install as long as you have this hardwired in. You plug it right in, then you can just have another MOSFET. So it's kind of cool how they're, all of their MOSFETs, their more expensive ones at least, have the little attachment so you can basically run different styles of MOSFETs along with the one that you purchased. So putting this away, 
And then I will grab the last MOSFET we're going over, which happens to be the three round burst one, and is referred to as the Murph 3.2. So that's the next one. You know, if I can learn how to box. All right. So, basically, this one is the same as the last one, except as you can tell, it is a lot bigger. That's a lot bigger right there. But this one has a lot more features. So, it doesn't tell me on the back, but basically what it has has all the features. It has the active braking. It has the three-on burst. Um, it also, has, with the three-on burst, you can program it to two. So, you can, and that's what this little programmer thing is right here. So, what you'll do is you'll plug it into right here. And then the website tells you exactly how to do it. A green light will come on, and then you bas it's basically you press, and it'll allow you to do it. So pretty easy, pretty basic, not too bad. Um, and they, it's kind of cool they include that with it. Most of them don't. Um, you still have the install, same as before. It has the two-prong wire. You hook it into there, and then that's all it is. Um, so this one's just kind of a different style, if you will, of, um, of MOSFET because of the three-round burst and because it is a little bit bigger. But again, still one year warranty. And one of the things with this one, if I'm not mistaken, you can actually use a bigger battery. I can't remember which one it is. Okay, so with the Nano, you can use a 14.8 um, LiPo. Not that I would, but you can. This one, I would have, you'd have to double check, but I don't think it can. I think it only still uses the 11.1 Max, but still pretty cool. Um, it, you can use lipo life life po batteries whatever you what you want and this one's going to protect you for your trigger contacts just as much as the other ones so pretty much cool thing with all of them mosfets in general they're they're going to be little micro computers that are going to get you what you want out of them so come on in check them out see which one you like the most um and see come on and ask us any questions you have towards them yeah. and that guys have a great day Happened. You've got it. No. That are going a little wrong, but they they work pretty well, so that's a nice thing. That was a total ramble. Mm -hmm.